our morning prayer service on this Friday in the fourth week of Lent takes place before our beloved compline windows. Caroline Graves Houghton was the wife of our founding rector, and one of her hobbies was to execute paintings on parchment. And she particularly loved the Psalms of the night. And she created some of these beautiful panels um, having to do with the close of the day. Compline is the last service of the monastic day office. And she also loved children. And so in the midst of these beautiful panels, we have a statue of a child. And this is one of the most beautiful places of pilgrimage um, for, for some of our children. Uh, Caroline Houghton died in 1871. And so they offered, they did this collection of panels and they offered it as a memorial to her. And to this day, it blesses the parish still. So please join me here for morning prayer. Our morning prayer begins on page 42 of the prayer book. Lord, open thou our lips and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us adore him. Let us pray together the Venite on page 44. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands have prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, that the whole earth stand in awe of him, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and with righteousness to judge the world, and the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And the psalm appointed for the day is Psalm 102 on page 731 of the prayer book. Let us pray verses 1 through 18 together. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me. When I call, make haste to answer me. For my days drift away like smoke. My bones are hot as burning coals. My heart is spent in like grass and withered, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the voice of my groaning, I am but skin and bones. I have become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake and groan. I am like a sparrow, lonely on a housetop. My enemies revile me all day long, and those who scoff at me have taken an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread, and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and wrath, you have lifted me up and thrown me away. My days pass away like a shadow, I wither like the grass. But you, O Lord, endure forever, and your name from age to age. You will rise and have compassion on Zion, but it is time to have mercy upon her. Indeed, the appointed time has come. For your servants love her very rubble, and are moved to pity even for her dust. The nation shall fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion, and his glory will appear. He will look with favor on the prayer of the homeless, and he will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, so that people yet unborn may praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 27 through chapter 13, verse 3. Now you are the body of Christ, and individually members of it. And God has appointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then deeds of power, then gifts of healing, 
forms of assistance, forms of leadership, various kinds of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work miracles? Do all possess gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? But strive for the greater gifts. And I will show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Now, if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions and hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And a reading from the Gospel according to Mark, uh, chapter 9, verses 2 through 13. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. and His clothes became dazzling white, such as no one could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice saying, This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly they looked around, and they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, he ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen, till after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning the rising from the dead, what this could mean. And then they asked him, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? And he said to them, Elijah is indeed coming first to restore all things. How then it is written about the Son of Man, that he is going through many sufferings, and to be treated with contempt. But I tell you that Elijah has come, and they did to him what they pleased, as it is written about him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And turning to page 49, let us pray canticle 2, a song of praise. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou for the name of thy majesty, Praise and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the temple of thy holiness. Praise and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou that beholdest the depths and dwellest between the cherubim. Praise and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the glorious throne of thy kingdom. Praise and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the firmament of heaven. Praise and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou. O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, praise and exalted above all forever. And our Apostles' Creed continues on page 53. And professing our faith together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. And do you thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. 
Lord, keep this nation under thy care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. And now the collect for this uh, fourth week of Lent. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread which giveth life to the world, evermore give us this bread, that he may live in us and we in him, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Let us pray together a collect for grace on page 57. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that we, being ordered by thy governance, may do always what is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then turn all the way over to page um, 829, Let's conclude today with a prayer so fitting for this compline window. A prayer for the care of children. Let us pray together. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, you have blessed us with the joy and care of children. Give us calm, strength, and patient wisdom as we bring them up, that we may teach them to love whatever is just and true and good, following the example of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.